Hezbollah's leader, Hassan Nasrallah, says his group is not directly involved in the Syrian conflict. In a speech given on Thursday, he also admitted for the first time Hezbollah had sent an unmanned drone, which was shot down over Israel earlier this week, when he claimed it was eventually destroyed near Israel's top-secret Dimona nuclear research plant. Nasrallah said the parts were made in Iran, but Hezbollah assembled the drone itself. <laughs> The resistance in Lebanon sent a sophisticated drone aircraft from Lebanon. We do not need to specify from exactly where, he said. We flew the plane hundreds of kilometers above the sea and it breached the enemy's high defenses and entered southern Palestine. It flew over sensitive installations for tens of kilometers south until it was discovered by the enemy. The drone was shot down on Saturday over a forest near the occupied West Bank. The announcement from Hezbollah confirmed the Israeli Prime Minister's earlier claim that the Iran-backed militants were responsible. The Israeli military released a 10-second video clip it says shows the destruction of the drone. Under surveillance by Israeli fighter jets, it was shot down on October 6 over a forest on the outskirts of the West Bank. The wreckage was recovered and the drone was not found to be carrying explosives. During a tour of Israel's border with Egypt, the Israeli Prime Minister vowed to defend the country. As you can see, we are acting with determination to defend our borders. We thwarted over the weekend Hezbollah's attempt. We are acting with determination and thoroughness to defend our borders. It's not the first time an incident like this has occurred. Hezbollah fought an inconclusive war with Israel in 2006 when Israeli defense forces shot down another drone sent by the Shiite movement. What is intensifying is these minor little uh, frictions, if you like, between Israel and Hezbollah. There's this drone that was shot down over the weekend that the Israeli Prime Minister has blamed on the Iranian-backed uh, revolutionaries across the border uh, in Lebanon. There is this constant probing uh, that uh, Hezbollah has been conducting. Uh, and, of course, uh, Iran also has been uh, supplying uh, some relatively weak weapons so far uh, into the Gaza Strip. So Israel's concern really is that as this door for military action begins to close, uh, Benjamin Netanyahu setting these uh, uh, spring and summer deadline for the p period by which it will be too late to intervene in Iran. Many Israelis are also concerned that it could also be an exis existential gamble to go after Iran. So it's a very, very difficult uh, Gordian knot to untie at the moment.